Welcome to my second video about arithmetic sequence, a lesson taken from ST Otapat Grade 10 Mathematics module. Let us have this problem first. A supermarket displays canned goods by stacking them so that there are 10 rows of cans with 3 cans in the top row. If each row below the top row had 2 more cans than the rows just above it, how many cans could there be at the bottom row? The first row has three cans, and the next row, the second row, has two more cans than the upper row. If that was the case, how many cans are there in the bottom row? Starting from the top row, the number of cans in each row can be listed as follows. Count the numbers of canned goods in each row and record the results in the table. For the first row, we have three, second row, five. Third row, 7. How about the fourth row? Yes, very good. We have 9 canned goods. On the fifth row, we have 11. How about in the sixth row? Very good, 13. Seventh row is 15. On the eighth row, 17. How many cans are there in the ninth row? Yes, very good. 19. And the bottom row, the 10th row, has 21 canned goods. Is there a pattern in the number of canned goods? If there is, describe it. Very good. Yes, the number of canned goods is increasing. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, 15, 17, 19, and 21. How is each term, or the number of canned goods, found? Correct. The number of canned goods can be found by adding 2 to every row. 2 canned goods for every row. 3 plus 2, 5, plus 2, 7, plus 2, 9, and so on. What is the difference between any two consecutive terms? The difference is 2, and they are all equal. So the difference between any two consecutive terms are equal. Now, let us take the first four terms. The first four terms are 3, 5, 7, and 9. Observe how each term is written. As you can see in the table, the first term here is 3. And to get the second term, the first term is added by 2 to make it 5. So 3 plus 2 is 5. For the third term, we have additional two canned goods. So 5 on the second term plus 2, we will get 7 canned goods. Or it also can be written as 3 plus 2 times 2. They are the same with 7 since 2 times 2 is 4 plus 3, 7. The fourth term add additional two canned goods. So we have 3 plus how many twos are there? 3. Okay, so we have 2 times 3, 6 plus 3, plus 9. So to get the number of canned goods in the fifth row or A sub 5, A sub 5 now is 3, first term, plus additional 4, 2 canned goods. 4. That means A sub 5 is equal to 3 times 2 times 4, where, where 2 times 4 is 8, Plus 3, we have 11 canned goods in the fifth row. Take a look at the number inside the parentheses. And check your subscript or the value of n. In a sub 2, n here is 2. And the number in the parentheses here, imaginary, we have 1. Since we only have 1, 2. And the third term a sub 3 the n here is 3 and as you notice the number in the parentheses here is 2 that means n minus 1 2 same with a sub 4 here the n value is 4 since fourth term and minus 1 we have 3 for a sub 5 n here is 5 minus 1 so we have 4 how about 
a sub 20. By means of the pattern, how will you get the number of canned goods on the 20th row? The stacks of cans are arranged in the same order, such that there are two cans more below each row. Any ordered arrangement of a set of number is called a sequence. So to solve for a sub 20, let us have first the definition of arithmetic sequence. Arithmetic sequence is a sequence where every term after the first obtained by adding a constant called the common difference. The first n terms of an arithmetic sequence with a sub 1 as the first term and b as a common difference are a sub 1, a sub 1 plus b, a sub 1 plus 2d, and so on up to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d. Take note of the formula for finding the term of an arithmetic sequence. a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times d where a sub n is the n term, a sub 1 is the first term, and d is the common difference. Example, what is the 10th term of the arithmetic sequence 5, 12, 19, 26, and so on? And to solve that, the first term is 5. The difference is 7, obtained by taking the difference between any of the two consecutive terms. 12 minus 5 is 7. 19 minus 12 is 7. 26 minus 19 is 7. Therefore, the difference is 7. And we're looking for the 10th term. Therefore, we have the value of n as 10. Solve using the formula of arithmetic sequence. Substitute. n is equal to 10. So a sub n is equal to a sub 1 is equal to 5. So a sub 1, 5 plus 10 minus 1 times our difference is 7. Next. 10 minus 1 is 9. So we have 9 times 7 is equal to 63 plus 5. A sub 10 now is equal to 68. So we can say that the 10th term on the given sequence is 68. Is that clear? Next example. Find the 85th term of the arithmetic sequence for which the first term is 9 and the common difference is 3. Again, take all the given, the first term is 9, the difference is 3, and the n value is 85. Using the formula, we have a sub 85 is equal to 9 plus 85 minus 1 times 3. Just substitute all the given. 85 minus 1 is 84 times 3 is 252 plus 9. So, the 85th term is 261. Clear? Okay. Another example. What term is 38? If the first term a sub 1 is equal to 3 and the common difference d is equal to 5 of an arithmetic sequence. Find all the given. a sub 1 is 3 d is 5 and a sub n now is equal to 38 the given is the value of the n term 38 and this time we are looking for the value of n so again the formula for arithmetic sequence a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d substitute all the necessary given a sub n is 38 a sub 1 is 3 d is 5 and n now is our unknown so 38 is equal to 3 plus 5 times n is 5n, 5 times negative 1 is negative 5. Next, combine similar terms. So we have 38 minus 3, then positive 5 is equal to, the remaining in this side is 5n. 38 minus 3 plus 5 is equal to 40. So we have 40 equals 5n. In order to solve for n, we have to divide both sides by 5. Cancel. n now is equal to 40 divided by 5, 8. So we can say that 38 is in the 8th term. And we have the value of n as 8. a sub 8 
is equal to 38. Now, your turn. Given the arithmetic sequence 5, 12, 19, 26, and so on, what is the 11th and the 25th term of an arithmetic sequence? Pause this video, then try to answer. Okay, let's check. The formula for the arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 times t. The given first term is 5, the difference is 7, and you're looking for the 11 term. So we have a sub 11 is equal to 5 plus 11 minus 1 times t, which is 7. 11 minus 1 is 10, times 7 is 70 plus 5. We have 75 as the 11 term. You got it correctly? Very good. Next, in order to get the 25th term, so we have a sub 25 is equal to 5 plus 25 minus 1 times 7. 25 minus 1 is 24, times 7 is 168, plus 5. a sub 25 now is equal to 173. I got it correct? Very good. What term is 12? If a sub 1 is 20 and the common difference is negative 2 of an arithmetic sequence. Post this video for you to answer, then unpost it if you have your answer. Okay, let's check. A sub 1 is equal to 20. The difference is negative 2. And the last term is 12. By the formula, substitute all the given. A sub n is 12 equals the A sub 1 is 20 n is unknown, and d is negative 2. Next, we have 12 is equal to 20 minus, minus, since we have negative 2 times n, negative 2n, negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Combine similar terms, we have from negative 2n, it will become positive 2n equals 20 plus 2 then negative 12 minus 12. 20 plus 2 minus 12 is 10. So 2n is equal to 10. Solve for n. Divide both sides by 2. n now is equal to 5. So 12 is in the fifth term. Or a sub 5 is equal to 12. Did you get it correctly? Very good. Hope you learned something today. See you on the next video. Bye.